welcome back to another video. Today I'll be giving you a whole tour of the Medtronic 640G Mini Med insulin pump. I will be explaining some of its great features as well. Time for the tour! So first the boluses. You'll find the bolus section on the home screen just here and when you press on it you will see three different sections. The bolus wizard, the manual bolus and insulin settings. Today we'll just be talking about the first two though. So the first one is called the bolus wizard. This one is for carbohydrates where you can enter your BGL and the carbs as you can see on the screen. So for instance if I entered say 11 carbohydrates it will show you how much I will need. This will be different for everyone however because we are all different. The next one is called a manual bolus. This one is for the insulin. So if you just want to give a certain amount of insulin, as you can see here, when I click on it, you will see that you just enter the amount of units. Next, the basals. In the basal section, again, you will see three different areas. Again, today we'll just be talking about 10 basal and basal patterns. So first of all, the temp basal. This is used for various reasons. If you are sick, not feeling well, or if it's too hot, it will give you extra insulin. So now I'll show you how it works. You type in the duration. So for instance, let's say about half an hour or an hour even, 45 minutes. It doesn't really matter. I'm not sure what it goes up to, but it's quite a bit. Then you type in the percentage, whether you want it to go less or more. So as much up to 200, so 145 or whatever, and then you can take it down to 60 or whatever you want it to be. In this section, you can also review your temp basal. So going down to review, and you can see that here, I will now be explaining the document symbol on the insulin pump, as you can see right here. When you click on it and unlock it again, you will see different options there. I will be explaining each part briefly so that you can get a clear idea of what they are about. First, I'm going to be talking about suspend delivery. Suspend delivery is when you would like to stop your delivery so that you don't get insulin for a certain amount of time. Next is audio options. The audio options just helps you to adjust the audio and how you would like to get alerted about messages or even reminders. So you can have it on vibrate or not on vibrate and the volume you can adjust to. Next, history. The history symbol shows you everything that you have done throughout the day. Your BGL, your alerts, what you've been given as well. This feature is so useful if you forget something or if you just want to know something. Next is reservoir and tubing. Reservoir and tubing is when you change your insulin pump. For information, for more information about on how to do this, visit my set change video that clearly shows how to do this. So now I'm just scrolling down so you can see all the upcoming settings. Now insulin settings. Insulin settings help you to see all of your daily insulin dose and your basals too. Next, sensor settings, there's a video for that too that you can go visit and see how that all works. Now, event markers, you can use that to when you're doing something that you wouldn't normally do, so like if you have exercise or something else and you want to record it to see patterns. And then next, reminders. The reminders section um, can tell you to test your blood at a certain time or when to do a set change or even when you have a low reservoir. Utilities. In the utilities area, you can just adjust certain things such as the time and date and language and much more. Last but not least, this top bar up here. This bar up here shows you everything you might need to know. 
Again, I have another video for that which you can go check out now. Thanks for watching, like, subscribe and comment. See ya!